Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are doing a few things on the new multiplayer save file. I have finished all of the rail on it, so we'll be taking out some new rail tour, but just kind of finished that up today, running some wood, and we did pick up a new locomotive. So the first one, or the second one that we have chosen to go with is the Glenbrook. We did name it the J. Glenn for John Glenn, but uh, C-O-M-P Railroad, that's the uh, chill out and play. So there we are, we did put number six on it, and we'll be kind of, we've been using it a little bit, so not our first runs, have made sure that things work, but uh, this is the first first of it on film this go around anyway so we'll be taking that out looks like we need a little bit of wood open up the old firebox there and there we go so we'll chuck that in have to watch the switch is not exactly sure which direction everything is lined in Bell's still pretty quiet. You don't really hear them when they're when they're running down the rail. So I have done a little multiplayer on here. Uh, save file seems to hold up. Um, I haven't stress tested it with a big group yet or anything like that, but we have had multiple people in here, and we have been running multiple trains, so um, the layout works and um, is capable of more than one loco operating at a time. Be stress testing that now as we get more locomotives and start filling in things along the way. Have made a little bit of money back up to 2800 and we do have a uh, $1,000 load actually sitting waiting to be delivered down at the mine or at the smelter, excuse me. So, uh, we are back to making some money and that's after buying the new locomotives so now that we have uh, hit the iron ore drop off uh, money is becoming less of a thing have started moving back a little bit of the trees in some areas definitely not all areas um, Pretty happy with the way that the layout works though. Currently it's um, all really set up to be very simple. No extra storage, no extra yards. Definitely don't have extra locomotives and rolling stock at this point. Still need uh, to pick up some things. We need boxcars and we need um, oil. Uh, stock yet we don't have uh any of the uh tanker cars yet so we'll have to pick up some of those not exactly sure how much of everything we're going to pick up that's all just going to kind of go off of performance but everything um performance wise is still running pretty smooth so as far as all that goes um we will start to add stuff now that we um we think we can get away with it performance wise so there you go that is the plan here we are out onto the new rail or the unshown rail at this point so this is all kind of first first run we did go simple we did go easy um, everything out here is pretty gradual do have a really um, unique layout up at the uh, oil Oh, what is it, the oil refinery? So that one actually is a pretty unique setup up there. Haven't seen anything really like that. Um, so we'll be showing that one off. I don't know if we'll make it in this video or the next one. I think this one will cruise out to the oil field and then we'll head up to the refinery in the next one. Probably. Got a super big spline out there. We ended up basically going from the um, the bulk of the way pretty much is not the whole way but almost the whole way from the um, iron works all the way up to the uh, refinery in one spline so um, 
way beyond what it normally stretches out to, but we uh, got it to drop in there with the bridge, so I, like, I don't think that'll make this video, but uh, you can catch that one in the next video. It's actually a pretty incredibly long spline. Amazing that it actually worked. Now the rail out here. As you can see, this one's just a long drive out through the woods. Not, um, not a heck of a lot happening out here. We'll take a look at uh, Glenbrook while we get a chance. Still have to move back some of these trees, which will give us some better camera stuff. Just have not done that yet as, as a performance precaution. So... I have to bear with that one for a minute. But there we go. Clidbrick is a great looking locomotive. It's also proving to be uh, a pretty good workhorse. This load, you know, only four cars, yes, but whether it's loaded with logs or, or um, lumber or beams, it's capable of running up the 3% um, grades to the mines, no problem. Uh, actually has really great performance, great traction, great brakes. Uh, the uh, tinder with the water load and wood load has made it really nice, not having to uh, fuel up and stuff all the time. Um, so as currently, can't complain. You can see here, this one got so the trees were like kind of a tunnel of trees, you know, around the uh, rail here and there. It's actually kind of neat the way that it, it's just it's just kind of lost in the trees. Uh, this is the spur which heads out to our oil field, so we will be coming back on that. Um, definitely have not made this for just A to B um, running. So some of the whys, the shortcuts and things that we had in the old layout, we do not have in this one. Again, that was to keep switches and keep the uh, rail usage to just as minimum as we could. Oh shoot, we overran. Oh yeah. We're not going to go all the way up there, that's for sure. My bad. Still getting down to the rails. I've honestly only been out to the uh, to the oil field to lay the track and test. Just immediately that it works. Have not really made loads out here yet. So still getting a hold of the new track, though everything does seem to be functioning as far as you know ease of use fairly well. I just haven't got down. Got to cut back some of these spots around the switches so that they stand out, especially like that one, obviously, though. I saw that one coming. I was just in the wrong view. Oh, of course, we didn't actually need to flip that one. That's why. I'm jumping the gun. I'm on the first switch, but that's okay. It'll auto come back, so everything's good. Could have taken her around the other way. I guess I didn't need the emergency brake. That's why I was panicked. So as you can see, we've brought uh, the lumber out here, and we have started getting some iron rails out here, or the ingots, whatever you want to call it, for the uh, smelt or for the iron works here. Have not started with coal delivery at all yet, so uh, still haven't gotten anything out of here yet. But did just finish it yesterday, and. Uh, Started running some wood loads out here and making sure that, uh, or seeing if Glenbrook could actually run some of the mountain trips. And it seems to be doing it so far. I think we could go ahead and add two car, two more cars to this and have six. And Glenbrook would still handle everything just fine. Um, so I'm thinking that's probably going to be the next uh, add-on after we get in the boxcars and the oil tankers want to make sure that we can deliver everything and still keep things smooth so as you can see nothing nothing on the output side yet of the ironworks just on the drop-offs 
trying to make back a little of that money that we spent on the Glenbrook uh, so that we can pick up the other rolling stock that we need. And as you can see, just really simple loops around. That one offshoot out there is for running out to the uh, refinery, which this switch will now be lined out for. Not that we're heading out to the refinery next, but that's kind of the idea of the run. Oops. See, here's a case of like. Glenbrook will just come to a stop. It's uh, it's really a nice locomotive as far as hitting the brakes. That's the one thing I've really noticed with Glenbrook. Pretty happy with the performance of the locomotive as far as uh, starting, stopping, fuel burn, and water burn. Uh, Glenbrook really is a... Uh, it's like we were talking about yesterday and... Uh, I guess my long-term take on the Glenbrook is that it's really everything that we ever wanted Eureka to be. Um, where Eureka just does not like, um, you know, for people who play the game, when the track goes vertical, Eureka is very unhappy. Great locomotive on flat ground, but it does not, you know, it does not like heights, We um, to say it simply. And Glenbrook seems to handle the heights um, fairly decently. I'm not going to say that, you know, it's obviously not one of the big powerhouses in the game by any stretch of the word, but for the amount of money that it costs, it'll definitely get you going in the early stage of the game and is multifunctional. Um, not a one-trick pony. It can definitely do some things. And uh, the ease of operation is, um, see here again, you know, ease of operation it will come to a stop relatively fast for when you're running around where you don't necessarily know your track to a T or you're coming out of trees like this um, you know I know from my other save file obviously once you spend a couple hundred hours in in the uh, save file you know you can roll up to your stops without ever without ever even looking at the track excuse me where um, you know, new save file, new adventures, right? So, not everything comes out perfect. Probably not going to keep rolling, but let's see if we can pull off a no stop drop. And this should start getting the, uh, would count up a little bit for us here which we definitely need that's the one problem with these little trains is it definitely does take a lot more loads but there we go 21 out of 30 so almost full and call that one good so hit the brake hooks there and this one we did just bring out to a loop so it take it goes straight out the end here turns around in a loop and comes right back uh real simple three-siding layout that way we can turn around and uh, you know this will be for storage this is going to be the about the extent of rail storage on this um layout not a lot of it we have a little bit here and a little bit out at the um iron mine or the coal mine excuse me so uh you know there's the start of the layout one more industry down good look at the iron works and the oil field so i think with that one we will call it a win say thanks for tuning in and remember if you get a chance like share subscribe so subscriptions are free but they sure do help the channel y'all have a great day